enough for how good technology is, though, can you? Oh, it's just wonderful. As I said the other night, Glenn, it's just amazing that we're actually on. I mean, you, you can be watching your on telly. Yes, you can. You can. People have your, got it on telly. You can be talking to you on your mobile. Yep. You can do the lot. You, you can order a takeaway while you're talking to Sky. Absolutely. And here we are, live on internet with an internet phone in. Now, think how big that is, Glenn. Yeah, definitely. Do you know, it's that is to... huge. I, what do you reckon to uh, Norris leaving, Corey, then Sky? Oh, I saw it tonight, actually. You know, great guy. Great guy, yeah. Malcolm. You know what I mean? As I say, he's a theatre man. I think he's a Yorkshireman, Scarborough. Is there? Yeah. I think so. I, I I don't know. I don't know exactly, but I'm sure he was a theatre director in Scarborough. Right, he has been in it. He played another role in it in seventies, apparently called Carlos. Carlos, uh, who was he? Was he a Spanish lad or something? They were. I think Mavis were in that role as well. That's right. Mavis was in then, love with him. Then he came back in it when Derek and Mavis ran cabin. Then he was Rita. That's it. Do you not think that it had a more innocent feel to it? I think so. I think it's got more, more, more comedy to it, weren't it? Well, it's, got, it's, it's got, got a bit less believable somehow now. Do you think it's got a little bit more... Yeah, it's, it's too, there's stuff. all too much rough stuff Drama. happening. Yeah, Tragedy think... and hospitals and disaster yeah. and, you know what I mean? It was just about everyday life. It was supposed to be called, is it Rosadale, Rosadale Street? Uh, um, no, wait a minute. Uh, Florizel Street. Florizel, yeah, that's the one. Florizel Street, I think it was originally. Did you, have to, did you watch the uh, one-off? The documentary one, on it, it? yeah. Uh, Jesse Wallace had three standards, were not it, weren't you? Yeah, it was, it was, yeah, absolutely. I mean, brilliant yeah. stuff. You see, the guys that ran ITV in the Northwest were tremendous yeah. guys. Lord and Bernstein Dick. and his brother, Mr. Sidney yeah. and Mr. Cecil. They and the they'd run all they the they'd run the cinemas. The institution what they created though is phenomenal. Oh, it's absolutely it's beautiful Granada television and I just I mean, walked along the road. I've always been a big fan of Coronary Street since I were a kid anyway. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean some great stuff in it, and uh, who's, your, who's your best character of all time? Then I don't. I, I quite like Johnny Briggs, Mike Baldwin. Yeah, but I'll tell you. Do you know who I think's a brilliant, brilliant actor is uh, Roy? Oh, brilliant, David Nielsen. Yeah, David Nielsen, fantastic actor, and he good just singer. he just gets it right. You know, he's a he's a good singer as well, actually. That all right? Ah, fantastic. It, he was singing. He was singing back in there, Roy Orbison's uh, song on "Stars in Their Eyes" a few years back. Actually. Yeah, well, you see, they're all multi-talented. These guys, they're brilliant people. I mean, when and, you look and at Barbara these, Knox, you, Barbara Knox that played Rita. And you've got these young little little ones coming into it now, thinking they must be so intimidated by the legends like Ken and Kev and uh, Rita. You know, oh, they've yeah. got a lot to put, put under the wing and. These older generation will put them under the wing and say, we'll put you in the right direction, you know, like Simon and all that. That's the it. Kids. That's it. Now, what about, um, I'll tell you another one I love, Bill Tarmy. Yeah? yeah Jack Duckworth. Jack Duckworth and Vera, Jack and Vera, and Alec the, Gilroy, Roy yeah, Baraclough. Like Barraclough, yeah. Another cracker. And then they brought uh, Tyrone into it, didn't they? Yeah. Uh, Jack. Yep, and Roy Hart. Roy Hart. And then he, he came in his nephew were out to Benidorm. Yeah, absolutely. Fantastic stuff, yeah. all these things. She's, and, she's a good actress, though, the one of Maureen Littman, isn't she? Oh, we'll she's outstanding. Well, and I, yeah, I love the I love the sort of atmosphere she creates in the house. Did you see her tonight that, with Tyrone? Yeah, she keeps that Norris style humor going, doesn't she? Yeah, absolutely. Beautiful she stuff. Straight at and, uh, and I loved, I loved Norris's uh, his gossipy style. Oh well, you know, <laughs> sort of that's yeah, what I heard anyway. Type stuff. You, you prefer that to drama side, don't you? Definitely. Yeah, I do. Well, I love the comedy. As I say, Roy Barraclough was terrific comedian. Yeah. You know the comedy, and I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Um, who else did we have? Uh, Betty in the pop. Yeah. 
Now, she was so believable. You could see her in any pub in the North. Definitely, yeah. Uh, Bet Gilroy. What can I get you, love? Bet Gilroy as well. Julie Bet Goodyear. Fantastic. We, we could go on and on. We, we could go on and on. We'd better not, though, because everybody would be going daft trying to get it's through. Fun. We're just teaching them one or two things about a British institution. Though, we? Absolutely, we? that's what we are doing, Glenn. They'll, they'll, they'll be going to us. What are they talking about? Are these young guns are coming out thinking, what's going to do? Fantastic. What's the What's to do? <laughs> Fantastic. You Dale, Scotty, there? Oh, I love my Emmerdale as well. I'm terrible, you know. I've got a terrific weakness for soaps. I can remember years ago when I worked for ITV, and yeah. uh, I can remember um, I was having a drink with one of the directors late night on a Friday at the social club, as they had in these days. And yeah. he says to me, he said, do you know what I'd do if I were you? He says, I'd buy myself a flat cap and get down to Yorkshire Television. You should have been in last summer wine, Scott. Eh? Hey? You should have started in last summer wine. Hey, maybe there's time yet, you know. Bring it back. <laughs> Get it, get Scotty McClure on telly. Definitely. I think sometimes when they get rid of comedies, though, like last summer when I think they, they finish it at the right time, don't they? Yeah. They yeah, yeah I think that's back. right, actually, because but these were great actors. And I can remember round the corner from where I lived in Sheffield, they were yeah. filming it. They don't want to be revamping it for sake of it, do they? Well, you, the problem is you revamp something, people have got high expectations, it never comes up to it. No, you can't be... It can be as like good that. as you like, but it's not the same. It's a bit like Dad's Army. You can't yeah. redo it. You didn't like the film, then? I, I didn't mind it, but it's just yeah. it wasn't the same. Catherine Zeta-Jones and all them. Yeah, it? I thought it was brilliant. I thought the guys put in are fantastic. But they just went Arthur Law, John Le Majore, all that lot, you know, Clive Dunn. They've, still, they've got so much legendary status to live up to, aren't they? Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, Arthur that, Law yeah. was a superb comedian. He was in Coronation Street. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Listen, I mean, I'm, I'm going to have to dash. No worries. I've You'll get me it. home. Love you to bits. Take care. Love you, Sky. Dinky do, Dinky top do, man. Dinky do, Scott. Eh? Dinky do, yeah. man. There we are. That's our Glenn. Mm -hmm. From Sheffield. Now, if you've just joined us, good evening, TikTokers. Get following. How are we here? Welcome, welcome, I say. Sunday evening telly was the best. Last of the summer wine. Hello, hello. And it ain't half hot bum. Absolutely fantastic stuff. There we go. Now, who have I got here? What's going on here? Let's get rid of this little troll on the TikTokers. Guys, if you've just joined us on TikTok, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClure. We've brought you up to join in the phone-in. Tremendous stuff. Scotty's phone-in. We're only a couple of weeks old, but we're the biggest internet phone-in, and you can come and join us. There's no comedy like still game, Scotch and Rye and One Foot the Grave. Ryan, very, very good. So there we are, Dinky. Do follow us as soon as you can. Thank you. MacIver1. And thank you for sending all these lovely likes. Lots and lots of new TikTok videos for you. Uh, right, what do we got here? Let's see what's going on here. There's a bit of chat for you. Uh, now, let's see who's here. Get the chat going. Um, hmm. Oh, my goodness. Uh, good evening, Scotty, says the wonderful David Taylor. I'm here, Scotty and friends. Vaughn. Thank you. Good evening, Scotty, says John Marshall. Independence, bye-bye, monarchy. So there you are. No, I don't think Savon will not be saying bye-bye, monarchy. More likely to be saying bye-bye, independence. Yeah, and I think Scotland would do well. You must keep the monarchy, says David Taylor. 100%, David. Can I phone in, Scotty? Of course you can. I like Princess Anne, says Vaughn. Very, very hardworking. Yes, indeed. Uh, always listening to the old Facebook, also subbed your YouTube channel, Scotty McClue. Scott, thank you for that. Everybody gets subbing the YouTube channel. And can you all follow me on Twitch? If you're a Twitcher, Scotty underscore McClue. Welcome to all our beautiful LinkedIners, of course. Dinky do the new to you, Scotty McClue, says Eddie Doyle. Top man, Kareem, you talk a lot of sense, says John Marshall. No notification, I'm subscribed. And ping the bell, Suzanne. You should be getting notified by YouTube when Scotty McClure goes live. Have you set it up right? 
the wonderful Gordon Robertson. Hello from we Oliver and me, Eddie Doyle. Uh, there we are. Any, anyone can phone in to Scotty. Uh, Aaron, yes, quite right. Hi, Susan, how are you? Says Suzanne. Hi, Suzanne. Hi, Scotty. Says the wonderful Susan Shaw. Neil Gormley. Good evening, Sir Scotty. Good evening, Sir Neil. Good, Susan. Thanks for asking. Evening, Scotty Dinky Doo. Can we all please get liking and tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty's live streams? Thank you. Please. Thank you so much, Eddie. Hello, everyone, says Karim. Hi, Karim. I see you liked my project car, Scotty. She's turned out really nice. Better than I expected. That's the big Volvo. Was it a V70, Alistair? And that royal blue paintwork? Very, very high quality. Alistair, what kind of car are you working on? Sorry, I've kind of answered that. Now, where does Scotty get his energy? Turbo charged, I say. Scotty goes global. It'll come. Uh, I was in Corrie 98.99. I played Lazy's Boy, says Greg. Excellent, Greg. Greg, I robbed Sally Webster. <laughs> Had the car years, just put new sills, arches, wings, brakes, and repainted the whole car. Well done, Alistair. I like Charlie West. He was my dad's mate. Scotty McClue, the voice of the nation. Eddie Doyle, dinky do, I say. Can I call you John Robertson? Of course you can. I'd rather save and restore my old car than buy a new one. I've got 19 and they're all classics. Alistair. There we are. Vera was a moaner. She was. She was a bit uh, poker-faced. Alistair, did you get your glasses from Deirdre? <laughs> did you watch peak practice, Glenn? Uh, says uh, Greg. Excuse me, says Alistair King. Now, uh, unfortunately, no, Eddie. I have a Morris Marina in the collection. Wow, well done for that one. I uh, have the old Maestro and Ford Sierra. Um, I don't find you funny in the slightest, says Alistair. Quite right, Alistair. Alistair, you have an Escort or a Cortina or a Granada. My mate's got an old Senator ex-police car from years ago. Yes, indeed. I knew somebody that had, they take the electrics out so you can't see how they're wired. And uh, for some, I don't know how they manage it, but they fill in the holes in the roof made by the blue light. Very clever. There we go. Uh, Greg, what about an Opal Mantra or an Astra? Yes, good evening, Eddie. Uh, can't listen to you for everyone talking to me in this house. I tell them to wish. Tell them to wish, Suzanne. Say, Scotty McClure is live on right now. Uh, Suzanne, do you have earphones? Yes, you can put in your buds. Uh, and you get yourself back on Nation Radio, says John. Uh, well, we we never know. Thank you, John. Uh, no bad, everybody. Uh, Scotty, what's Santa getting you this Xmas? 15 weeks to go. I know, Kareem. It's crazy stuff. Can you say hello to Natalie? Dinky do, Scotty. Tell Jamie to stop shouting. Good evening from Inverkip, says Shuggy. Thank you, Shuggy. Uh, this is everybody on TikTok. Scotty, I'm trying to get 2K. You'll get it, Peter. Watch my first Burniston. Ricky Fulton and Richard Wilson were just incredible comedy writers. They were extremely talented. They are extremely talented. I know Ricky's gone, but Richard is very much to the fore. Uh, there we go. Good evening, Sir Scotty. Geo Dog. How lovely to have you with us live on TikTok. We're bringing the TikTokers in to join in the phone in. Do you like that idea? There we are. Get yourselves on to the phone in. Uh, now, who else have we got here? Thank you, Greg. I don't think we'll go comments with that. Do you know what I was thinking tonight? Why is there rivalry called religious rivalry between Glasgow Rangers and Glasgow Celtic when they're both exactly exactly the same religion. I don't understand. Very, very weird. So there we are. Get to your telephones as soon as you possibly can. Let's hear from you. You'll see the number in front of you there. Hi, everybody. There's D has joined us. Good evening, Ur Scotty. Good evening, D. Lovely to have you with us. And a very warm welcome to Scotty McClue's internet phone-in. This has only been going... A couple of weeks and it's already huge. Welcome, 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 I say. 
Uh, sir, your thoughts on Freemasonry? You'll not get Freemasonry to your dog. Even simple pointing will cost you a lot of money. I know somebody at a huge country house, and even pointing the stonework was uh, 50,000 quid, and that's a few years ago. Scotty, you are sweating. No wonder with the heat in here. No wonder, as we say in Scotland. I'll give myself a mop down. There we are. Sometimes when you're performing, it goes with the territory, just with the heat from the lights. See, I'm sitting here bathed in light. You know, that's what it's about. Scotty, you're a man of knowledge. Can you tell me what it means with someone walking at the front of an orange walk with a Bible on a cushion? Yes, they will be bearing the Bible. The Orange Lodge is about the crown and the Bible the King James Version. So they're holding up the first um, non-Catholic Bible for the crown, the crown and the Bible. Yes, if anybody wants to add to that, feel free to do so. Uh, Greg says it saves the Bible getting sore legs. <laughs> there we are, wonderful stuff. So I would say, Eddie, what they're doing, they're leading with the Word of God. Yes, the King James Version. But if somebody wants to add into that, they can do so. If anybody can tell me why is there rivalry between, uh, called religious rivalry, between Celtic and Rangers when they're both exactly the same religion. Very, very strange. There we are. Can we all just be atheists? Well, no. I mean, you know, what would you be an atheist from? What do you not believe in? My boat's MOTs, Jew Scotty. <laughs> My boots, M-O-T. A lot, lot of nonsense. Dinky do. Scotty, did you watch football? Not really, to be honest with you. Not a big football fan. Uh, good evening, everybody. Who sent a beautiful red rose? Thank you, TikTokers, for your generosity and your beautiful gifts. Very, very much appreciated. I can tell you that for nothing. Turn the big light. Ah, the big light. Scotty, what's the time limit on a phone-in? Well, you can go on as long as you like. We do an hour, Eddie, because we're just starting out and we, you know, want to get the word out there. And um, I've, the main phone-ins are going to be Friday, Saturday. But I pop up in the evenings just to try things out. We've added a new platform tonight. So you should be able to uh, see us streaming live on LinkedIn. Fantastic. Glenn from the stream has a lovely story reading voice. Yes, he does, Greg. Scotty, be careful. There's a car behind you. I know, Kareem. Yes, indeed, a P38 Range Rover. Now, TikTokers, if you go on to Scotty McClure's videos on TikTok, you'll see two lovely little videos made to show you the detail inside that P38 Range Rover model. It's a model. There we are. My friend Mikey loved your content. Uh, hello, Scotty. That's a marvellous P38. Did you like it, Disco Boy? Love the photos behind us. are awesome. There's Lord Reith the Labrador. Can you see him there? How fantastic is that? And a big dinky-doo to you. I've been approached. As you'll be interested in opinions. Geodog, you would need to find out more about it, to be honest with you. Uh, so there you are. Do you play football? Well, I don't play for Scotland. I can tell you that straight. Scotty, I mean, <laughs> what have got here? Scotty, politically motivated. It was early 20th century when Churchill's father created and played the orange card to create division among the working class. John Skinner, can I tell you that division was created a lot earlier than that? William Pitt was the prime minister. And Britain was getting concerned that Ireland was getting too strong and that all the so-called classes in Ireland were getting together and were becoming quite a formidable force. And somebody said, William, what are you going to do about Ireland? He said, I shall use the Orange Lodge to divide and rule. And to this day, politicians are working the Orange Lodge from the back to divide and rule. It's failing, though, because of Brexit, I have to say. Remember, Alf Roberts died in Corrie and his life insurance expired at midnight. Audrey never seen a coin. Poor Audrey. 
what a treat it did skidded up and it did in those days as well so there you are so i can tell you scotty when somebody's talking to you on the phone how long do they have whilst on a call to you as long as you like eddie if the call's interesting I mean, we've had kareem and glenn on tonight and they were very very good you know they, they they've got a lot to say and say it very well scotty i like the tartan on your bonnet of a scarf I would say that's Campbell. Yes, wouldn't you? Campbell, was your interior also a cream interior? Yes, indeed. Uh, you know, to me, a Range Rover should be green with cream leather. So there we are. Hello, my dear friend, Scotty McClure. Tycho. Hello, how are you? I'm here also, Kareem. You're very clever. Got to say, you uh, were on the radio. Uh, all you got was your... My kind of people, I've got to say, you were on the radio, all you got was my kind of people. What's that one? Not quite sure what you mean by that one. Tea or coffee? Uh, just a tea, haven't a coffee for almost 40 years. How amazing is that? I do, yes, a charmer. Scotty, I'd say black watch. Yes, it might be black watch, actually. What do we say, folks? The Tartan and McClue's bonnet. Let's find out. There we are. Thoughts on the Titanic. Did you see that there's a theory that it wasn't the Titanic that went down, it was the Olympic? I don't know. There's all these conspiracy theories. I have stayed in the house that used to be owned by the chairman of White Star. So there we are, Bruce Ismay, who actually got off the Titanic but he was mocked a lot, and he died a broken man. But I've stayed in his house. There we are. Fanta, I'm Les Battlesby's boy, Greg. Excellent, Greg. Good one for you. I wouldn't have minded a wee job because I just walked along the radio, along the road when it was the Century Radio. There we are. Have you any thoughts on the poem, First They Came, by Pastor Martin Nye Muller? Yes, indeed, Nicky's. Now, I always think about it these days when I see when people are being punished or having the finger pointed. I think they came and then they came for me. Oh, yes, indeed. Would somebody doing the nut about it yesterday? Very, very strange. Thank you, Scotty Boy Blair. Lovely to have you with us. There we are. It might be a Celtic tartan or a Celtic tartan. Fantastic. Yes, very, very, very amazing, powerful poem, Nicky, is well done. Did you ever drink in the Royal Guards in Edinburgh? Uh, Basil, to be honest with you, I think I drank in a lot of places in Edinburgh in my time. There we are. I used to get taken here, uh, there, hither and thither, as they say, hither and thither. Scotty, I could see you in Corrie as a Scottish cousin of Archie Shuttleworth. I need to put on a lang face. A lang face. Hello, Archie. We've still got the business in Glasgow. We're doomed, doomed. There we are. Do the big eyes for you. So there we are. Yes, uh, a lot of thoughts on that one, Nickers. I can tell you. Leslie Davis, thank you for my beautiful red roses. Uh, what's the shortest road in Glasgow? Now, 666 Colin. I think I'm trying to remember the name of it. It's a very short little street. And it's in the city centre. Am I right? And it's something like 22 yards long. Is that correct? 66 feet. Scotty, I love your video appearances on TV. I watch them over and over. You've got good patter. So which ones was that one, Eddie? Was that the one with uh, Nicky Campbell? Nicky Campbell and Barbara Dixon, what a fabulous pair they were. Stand in Airdrie. Uh, so there we are, fantastic. Excellent. Get me on to the stand. Is that the comedy club? Scotty McClure, can you rap? Oh, can I rap? Particularly, uh, you know, coming up to Christmas. Uh, hey, Scotty, an absolutely amazing, splendid, spectacular person mitt's biggest fan what a lovely thing to say dinky do to everybody all our beautiful tiktokers welcome welcome to scotty McClure's phone in 
I'll just pop you over so that you can see. Scotty, the street is Clay Slaps Road in Glasgow. Shortest Road, Eddie Doyle. Is it 22 yards? Is it in the city centre? There we go, guys. I'm just going to pop this up for you so you can see what's happening. Right, excellent stuff. Have we all got that? There we are. Coming up now, live phone in across the internet. We're on YouTube, Twitch, Facebook, and LinkedIn. Welcome, welcome, I say to you. Right, back we go. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Good evening, Scotty. It's Fast Pat. Fast Pat, how are we tonight, La La? Lovely to have you with us. Um, good, thanks, Scotty. The day off today. Now, Fast Pat, I think maybe I had to cut you off one night because we were mentioning second names. We'll not be doing that this evening. We'll, we'll not be doing night. that, my dear man. So you had a day off and you had a bit of a break. I did indeed. Um, I washed my bins and then I washed my lorry. Then wow. In, in the afternoon, I walked the dog and I went to my Jane's, my Jane's house. And do you do the wheels when you do the lorry? The full lot, Scotty, even the exhaust. Because uh, I remember a guy telling me, he said, if you're stuck, do the wheels. Pardon? He said, if you're stuck, do the wheels. It makes a huge difference. Oh, definitely. Definitely. I cleaned the, I cleaned the, the, the box out today as well. I cleaned the, the cabin anyway, the cabin as it would be called. Beautiful. Um, I've been very, very productive. And then I, I tuned into yourself uh, with a couple of cakes and a cup of coffee. How fantastic, Fastback. What do you think of the phone in? How do you think it's going? I think it's good. It gives those listeners a chance to interact with you and yeah. get, get to know you a bit better and contribute and help you with the show. Uh, I think it would help build your audience. I think it's doing well. I think it's doing very well. When you think we're a couple of weeks old, that's from the experimental stage. So we're really only about a few days old. Yes, we really, we really need to get this ship amongst the community. It's sharing it, isn't it? It's telling everybody, tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10, and getting people's confidence just to give us a call. I, I'm glad you're back on the phone, Scotty. I, I think it's, uh, it's brought another uh, bow, bow to your, uh, sorry, another arrow to your... Another to your string to the bow. Yeah, another yeah, arrow yeah. to the quiver. Yes, for the, for the YouTube, yes. <laughs> There's nothing on the internet like this. There isn't, and there never ever will be, because we do just, we, we want it to be spectacular, and nobody else can do it. Correct. Um, well, Scotty, I do want to hog all the line, and I'll let you go. Fast uh, back, I am so proud of you for doing all that work. It's, it's nice seeing Glenn back on the line, uh, or back on the stream, and Kareem. It's been a while since I've seen the guys, but it's nice to, nice to see them back on line as They're well. They're back with us, and we're all together again, and that's what matters. We're back with a bang, Scotty. We're back with a bang. Dinky do, Fast Pat. Good night, Scotty. Good night. God bless you, sir. Top man. There we are. That's our Fast Pat. And uh, Fast Pat has his own lorry. And uh, he likes to keep it beautiful. Hi, Scotty. Nice seeing you, my friends, and the wonderful Leslie Davis. You're a great entertainer. Do you like our broth smokies? Mad Mouse John. I love on our broth smoky. I used to eat them out my horns like that. <laughs> Hmm, wonderful stuff. There we go. I love our bros, beautiful people. What is happening? Says Mick's biggest fan. What's happening is that you're live in the middle of the phone-in and all the TikTokers have come and joined us as well. Just as a wee extra treat. Uh, Scotty, Airdrie, do you ever go on the CB radio, Eddie? I uh, don't, but uh, I can remember it well. You know, hello, big breaker. What am I hitting you with? One night for a rig check. Over. All that stuff. Uh, there's a village in Airdrie called Stand. Ah, I thought you meant the Stand Comedy Club. <laughs> there we are. You sound a bit like Ian Cuthbertson, Stephen Menzies, or Stephen Mingus. How do you prefer it, Steve? I think we agreed Menzies, didn't we? But um, Ian Cuthbertson was a terrific actor. Big Ian. Sutherland's Law, Charlie Endell Esquire. Do you remember that? Great guy, Ian Cuthbertson. Big theatre man as well, Big Ian. And his father, if I remember right, was a very famous Glasgow surgeon called Sir William Cuthbertson. So there you go. So medical family. Big Ian, lovely man. Used to write a column in, was it the Scottish Field, 
Eating Out with Ian Cuthbertson. And you got all the, the restaurants and things like that. Great guy. What do we got here? Who sent 25 beautiful red roses? Leslie Davis. How lovely of you. Thank you so much. Yes, says Colin. Geodog. Uh, sir, it was indeed the Titanic that sank. Too much evidence being salvaged. Ah, Geodog, did you ever see a film, Raise the Titanic? Now, that was uh, Lord Grade, Sir Lou Grade, that paid for that. And he said it would have been cheaper to drain the Atlantic than raise the Titanic than do the film. Scotty, why is sectarianism in your mind about Rangers and Celtic? Because of all the recent stuff that we've had, Eddie. And I wonder if these people who are sectarian realise that they're of an absolutely identical religion. Absolutely the same religion. There is only one Christian religion. And they go, oh, it's a religious thing, but different religions. No, 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 no. News flash. You might be different denominations of the same religion. That's all. I was only saying, just pointing it out. Clay Slaps Road, Goodwin666, Colin. Love your videos. Love the picture of your dad. Fantastic. Leslie, thank you. He was a very lovely man, my father. Favourite place in the world? Oh, I have so many favourite places. All of Scotland, all of England, all of Ireland. Haven't been to America yet. I love Europe. Oh, so many favourite places. Good, thanks, Shazzy. Just had a black rooster, peri-peri chicken and rice. Ah, all these chickens will come home to roost. I tell you, well done. I hope you enjoyed every second of it. Only one faith, one belief, Christian Scotty. Yes, I agree. Absolutely, Eddie. There we are, 14. You should have a lot more with your knowledge. Matthew, you have to build these things up. I was talking to somebody today that said, no, listen, if you get a couple of hundred these days, that's big stuff. I mean, I'm used to quarter of a million, half a million people watching. But we are very, very new. And when people realize there's a lot of fun to be had, they will come and join us on the phone in. Scotty boy, I think you should grow a bad boy beard for Christmas. Beachy, 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 beachy. Can I tell you that um, if you look back at some of my uh, Christmas type videos, very, very Santa Claus, very, very Sunny Claus. There we are. Yes, I mean, Matthew, we should be going out to the whole world. Along from the park bar. Ah, that's where it is. Yes, I'll have a look about that. Is it 22 yards long? Can you sing that song, Buffalo Bill from Mary Hill? He never walked and he never will. <laughs> God, Scotty, I'm glad you're here. You cheer me up. Michigan biggest fan. Got to do the wheels. Absolutely, Leslie. Thank you for following us live on TikTok. Why do you remind me of Rabsinus, but I haven't a clue. Uh, shows our age, absolutely. Hi from Poland. Hi, Poland. I am Pan Maklu. Pan Maklu from Poland. Uh, any news to report, Dinky Doo? There's always something going on here. Dinky Doo. Scotty, how are you doing tonight? Says top of the morning to you. Excellent top of the morning to you. Thanks for joining us. Scotty boy. Scotty, have you ever preached at a church service from the Word of God? Eddie Doyle, I have. I have preached from the pulpit, but not obviously in an official capacity. But I preached as a television announcer that everybody knew very well in their area. And uh, I did an evening service. I met Russell Hunter on a train from Dundee to Edinburgh. Some lovely theatre stories. I was laughing so much and the journey went so quickly. A lovely guy and a great actor, Stephen. You're quite right. Now, he uh, also, I think Russell was married to Una McLean. Yes? Or is it Una McLean? Una McLean. I remember Una you know, very, very well. And uh, Russell was, he was lonely uh, in uh, in a drama. Yes, what was the drama called again now? It was uh, it was quite spooky, and he played the character in that. 
But I attended a show with Russell called Jock, and he it was a one-man show. And Russell entertained us for the whole evening on his own. Tremendous. They were hiding tonight, Scotty. Dinky do. Before Henry VIII, there was only one. Ah, as a Catalan, I love Scotland. We love you, Catalan. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky do. Catholic and Greek means universal one religion. You are correct, real bigdom. Yes, indeed. And if you look at my TikTok videos, you'll see last night, do you speak Latin? I said, there you are. Scotland, the best country. Give your burdens to the Lord and he shall sustain you. Psalm 55, cast your burden upon the Lord. The Psalms are fantastic. I find Rangers fans worse than Celtic fans. In what respect, Greg? Scotty, what was the title of your sermon? The title of my sermon was Where You Live. Do you realize how beautiful it is? And another title of a sermon is An old lady got on a bus and she said to the driver, How much to the cross? And I would like to ask every single one of you tonight, How much to the cross? What is the price? of going to the cross, and are you willing to pay it, walking in the footsteps of our Lord and Master Jesus Christ. So there you are. Scotty, do you like the book of Proverbs? I like every single book in the Bible. Some of it's quite disturbing. How do we read of Leviticus? That'll sort you out, I shall tell you. But the Psalm is beautiful, Psalm 119. What about the letters of St. Paul? There we are. What about Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John? St. Luke, the Christmas story. And there were in that same field shepherds abiding, keeping watch over their flock by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for unto you this night in the city of David is born a son. And his name shall be Wonderful Counselor, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Beautiful stuff. He certainly was. He was married to Ian McLean. I believe he lived in Leith. Yes, indeed, Stephen. Uh, so there we are. Fantastic. Off to the telephones. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello, Scotty. It's Professor Numptyheed. Me, myself, and Dad. Professor Numptyheed Free. Professor Numptyheed Free. Embra. Ah, he's a man in the night. Spell E-M-B-R-U-G-H. Embra. I'm in Eymouth. Eymouth. Ken. Ken. Now. I'm in the Barbers. Now then. Listen, I'm sitting outside because it's a lovely night and I'm looking at the stars in the sky, Scotty. Oh, lovely. Well, I should be in the house listening to Scotty. You should. You should never miss a second of Scotty McClure. I'm outside and I'm, I'm enjoying the, the cold nights. I can see you're sweating in the studio there, but anyway. Well, yeah, we're a wee bit warm. Yeah. You know, I don't sweat, I perspire. Aye, right. Anyway, apart from that, you see that angel with the last statue? What's on the one? The Angel of the North. Did you go no, and see it? No, they should knock it down. Not at all. It's beautiful. No, they should because, see, when you go in that corner, you see the monstrosity that they've left. Isn't there. it absolutely gorgeous? It gives you a fright. Not at all. You're go frightened of your own shadow. I'll tell you. And this nonsense about the shortage of the lorry drivers, I've never had so much rubbish in my life. Plenty. We've just had fast pat on tonight there. Ah, and what was he saying? He's a lorry driver. He was saying he'd given the lor lorry a good once over. Well, you'll have plenty of luck, Scotty, because there's a shortage apparently. Ken? I think they're pulling us for the back. Do you think we're all getting what through the back? Ah, uh, Ken, what's wrong, Scotty? Go on. The, the, the Harris companies have been getting away with paying slave labour wages. Knew that Brexit's happened. We've, uh, we've we're back to where we used to be. We were paid a decent living wage. Now the, the horror companies are like, no, we want we want the cheap stuff. So this is why we've no drivers, because they're trying to get away with cheap, cheaper wages. 
I don't think I've ever heard so much nonsense in my life. I know. I've never heard so much rubbish coming at you. I'll tell you, you're talking nonsense. You're at the caca. There we go. Now, who have we got here? I want to believe, but sometimes with all the evil in the world, I question my faith. Neely Davy, can I tell you that, um, you know, with all the evil in the world, all the more reason to strengthen your faith. Good must always triumph over evil. Always go for the good. Good night, Scotty. Good night, Susan Shaw. Night, night, every day. Scotty, the price that was paid at the cross was Jesus shedding his blood for all of us sinners. He died to give us life and is alive forevermore. The blood shall never lose its power. Wow, Eddie Doyle. Very powerful stuff indeed. How are our beautiful TikTokers? Do you enjoy a vegetarian haggis, Scotty? Have you ever been to Spain? I haven't been to Spain. Scotty, when are these badges coming on sale? Beachy, beachy. Would you like a Scotty McClue dinky doo badge? Fantastic. We'll maybe get the merch on the go. Uh, shout out to Alex dinky doo. Absolutely, Alex. Wonderful stuff. That's what's about. Alex Clark. Big Plainsley loves Scotty. We love Big Plainsley, Mick. Some of it can be cruel. Yes, very cruel, I say. Uh, Tam will join uh, a mass away next week. Despite being from the Bible Belt of the U.S., says Kirby the Annihilator, I've never made it around to reading the Bible. Well, you should dip in and dip out. It's all the Word of God. I can tell you that. Love that from Charlie Brown Christmas. Somebody else famous came from Leith. Oh, sunshine and Leith. Lots of famous people from Leith, I can tell you. Mad Mouse, dinky do. Uh, now, yes, it was Lamb, the poet, was one of the very famous people from Leith. Uh, morning, the Duke of Dundee. Good morning, Onion Badgie. Hello, Scotty, what's new? This is a better stream, says Beachy Beachy. Absolutely Beachy Beachy. Um, anybody that's not read the Bible is a lunatic. Oh, no, Mick. Come on, there's always time for people to come and join us. We any good at sports, Scotty? What's your favourite sport? Neely Davy. I was a big rugby man. Front row. Front row. Tight head prop. Down first. Boom! And uh, rowing. But I put that down in my CV and somebody thought it was rowing. So there you go. Good evening, Scotty and everyone. Good evening, Kareem Shagdu. Says good evening, Scotty. Sunshine and Leith, I love that by the Proclaimers. Great movie, Sunshine on Leith. Absolutely love it. So there you go, tremendous stuff. Wonderful, wonderful actors in it as well. Peter Mullen. Peter Mullen, I'll tell you, another uh, time I loved Peter Mullen was in War Horse. Have you seen the movie War Horse, guys? If you haven't, try and get it. Now we're running out of time. The Bible brings inner peace, says Mick. It does indeed, Mick. Scotty, the Bible is the only book that gives life, as all scriptures living and breathing with knowledge and guidance. Correct. Correct, guys. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky do. Are we chin on the box, Scotty? Have we got time? We've just got time for a chin on the box, folks. Here is the box. Yes. And uh, here's one for you. Are you ready? Right.
You beautiful people, that's for you. We're going to have to dash. Make sure you subscribe to YouTube. Follow me on Twitch, Scotty underscore McClue. Send everything with Scotty McClue round and round and round. Share and share and share. Thank you for watching tonight. Happy Monday night from everybody here at Scotty McClue Dinky Doo. And uh, as we say in the best of circles, ta -ra -la Thanks for watching, guys. Have a beautiful night. I'll see you tomorrow night at 9 o'clock sharp. And then, of course, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday night, 10 o'clock, Saturday night, 10 o'clock. For the internet, phone in. Spread the word. to la la There you are, my beautiful TikTokers. Hail Mary, full of grace. Good night and God bless. Lovely to have you all with us. And this is Scotty McClure saying to all our beautiful TikTokers, ta la -las. See you all soon.